the queen's retirement did i say that so yeah that's what the video will be about so if you like the video i hope you do like the video and if you haven't subscribed i hope you do subscribe and thank you very much for watching hey i'm mark and this is my journey through tarot come on Wouldn't you say this is a kind of retirement? It's a slowing down. Um, not as much as Prince uh, Philip did, but um, so. So abdication, let's see what we've got here. So there were seven royals who stepped down or abdicated. Of late, there are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Uh, other royals who retired are uh, Prince Andrew. Uh, in 2019, he stepped back from royal duties in light of the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Then, let's see, there's King Edward VIII. So the Queen's uncle, the current Queen's uncle, abdicated in 1936. He gave up the throne for his love of twice-divorced American Wallace Simpson. The abdication was selfish and had a profound impact on young Princess uh, Elizabeth, whose father took Edward's place. He has forever viewed, or rather she has forever viewed, abdication as a dereliction of duty rather than passing uh, the baton. Now then there was Richard II. Uh, Richard II's authoritarian streak and vengeful nature eventually cost him the throne. It occurred when his uncle led a group of lords to overthrow him. They murdered several Ricardians, uh, but uh, the king took revenge by arresting and banishing opposition, including uh, his cousin Henry of Bolingbroke. Richard had taken Henry's large Duchy of Lanchester, Lancaster properties and divided them among his own supporters. Uh, so when the king was away in Ireland, Henry, with the Duke of Northumberland, overtook the king when he returned, and the king surrendered, was returned to London, forced to abdicate. Henry Bolingbroke became Henry IV. Mary Stuart. So Mary Stuart was known for her deeply held Catholic beliefs and uncompromising in her faith, although initially uh, she was a moderate monarch allowing a religious tradition. Her marital scandals caused trouble and uh, she eventually was uh, executed. Uh, Mary's marriage to Lord Darnley really turned life sour. Darnley was bad-tempered and spoiled and petulant, making him lots of enemies. He was eventually murdered, and the primary suspect was the Earl of Bothwell. Mary, the Queen, was suspect too, having possibly sought revenge against Darnley. Her approval of his murder led to a revolt against her. Mary surrendered, was forced to abdicate in favor of her infant son, who became James VI of Scotland. Now, James VII was suspected of being pro-French and pro-Catholic. He had appointed Catholics to uh, prominent positions causing conflict with Parliament, so he discontinued Parliament in order to act alone. This did not sit well with Protestants who were afraid of a Catholic absolute monarch. He produced a Catholic heir with his second wife, so Protestants then called for the uh, Dutch uh, Prince William of Orange to rule England and depose James. William was married to James's elder daughter, a Protestant. Uh, then his invasion landed and James, knowing he was outnumbered, exiled to France. England's parliament declared that James had abdicated and offered William of Orange and his wife, James's elder daughter, Mary, the positions of joint monarchs. And then we have King George III. King George III, uh, known as the Mad King, uh, considered stepping down, but his pride and sense of the crown as God-given led to clashes with government. The recent loss of the colonies and political machinations were too much to bear. He drafted an abdication speech, but never gave it. He remained on the throne, but his health and mental state declined, and he had to be shut away. His son was regent. Uh, the king died in 1820. So now let's see what the cards have to say. Okay, so let's see what the cards can tell us about our queen. Well, she's not my queen, but I certainly feel, um, I don't know, like, I, like I'd, I'd like to know her as a queen. But uh, let's see what the cards have to say about um, retirement or abdication. I mean, those are not the one and the same thing. 
um, a kind of retirement could be more of what she's doing, which is just, um, you know, parsing out responsibilities to the future king and the future future king. Or it could be complete arrest on her part, complete, completely turning over the throne to Charles. So let's see what the cards have to say about that. Queen Elizabeth, retirement or abdication. Queen Elizabeth II, retirement or abdication. Queen Elizabeth II, retirement or abdication. But first, let's have just a moment of meditation. Queen Elizabeth II, abdication. What can the cards tell us about that? Queen Elizabeth II, abdication or retirement? What can the cards give us about that? Full Celtic Cross. Six cards to begin with. So one, two, three, four. Five, six. Queen Elizabeth II, abdication. Okay, so, signifier card. Well, this is interesting. So this is the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is typically... Um, illusion and delusion. Okay, lots of choices to be made. Um, so lots of opportunities to uh, make a, a different path. And all of these, and of course, cups are compassion and emotion. So that seems a very fitting uh, signifier for this. She certainly does have options. And uh, these are all compassionate and emotional options that she might take. So interesting that that would be the signifier of this. Um, or maybe it's not. Now, the challenge to that Seven of Cups is the Queen of Cups herself. So that's interesting. Yeah, that makes sense. The challenge to all those choices that might be taken is the Queen's uh, deep um, feeling of responsibility towards the crown. Yeah. The uh, basis of this, then, is the Knight of Swords. So, you know, uh, swords are truth, justice, rules, law. The Knight is the fighter of the royal suite. And uh, that's the basis of this whole reading. So I wonder if she doesn't feel as if she has something that she should remain in place and fight for. Uh, the past of this reading, then, is the Knight of Wands, which, of course, is the Knight of Action. But that's in the past. You know, Wands are actions, uh, plans, forward movement. But this is the Knight. He's the fighter. But look, he's in the past, okay? So it could be an indication that, um, you know, time for those plans has passed, in the sky of this reading, then, is the uh, Nine of Wands, again being actions, plans, forward movement. And uh, the Nine of Wands typically tells us, or speaks to us about someone who has, there's lots of issues pending here. Um, and the, usually he's depicted as being kind of embattled. However, this Knight uh, is looking at all the actions, all the plans, all these things as sort of an obstacle to have to walk through with one plan, one staff in their hand. Uh, before doing so. So that's kind of interesting. You know, I would say that maybe this is, is some sort of a consideration on her part. The likely outcome of the first part of this is the uh, four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles, very appropriate in this reading, is pentacles are worth value. And the four of pentacles is really holding on to your value. You can see how this fellow is standing on some of his value. He's holding some of it up in the air for display, but he's really holding on. So that's the likely outcome. Now, somehow I pulled too many cards. Uh, so I'm just going to take three more cards to finish this um, drawing. Let's put this one here for a moment and take uh, three. We'll take this first one right here to start the self of that very question of the queen uh, retiring or abdicating. And Ace of Swords. 
truth, justice, rules, law. And uh, so this is huge. This is a huge example in here. And so I think this just shows us how much she feels like this is there's a truth, there's a rule, there's a law, there's some truth, there's some justice in her remaining in place until uh, she's gone, as she said she would. It's in the environment of, however, this four of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, six of wands, with six of wands is victory. And some would say that's true. This, this choice is in the environment of her very victorious reign up to this point. The hopes and the fears for this, then, with this page of wands, page is a very weak member of the royal court. Wands are actions, forward movement, plans. This is a very weak plan. That's in the hopes and the fears. So, and then the final outcome for all of this as to whether the queen would retire or abdicate is this three of coins, which is building something together of value coins for public display. And that's exactly what she's doing. She, I believe, feels and wants to demonstrate that this is a value. This is a God-given um, um, value that she must protect with her word. And I don't think she will do uh, either of those things, retire or abdicate. I think that's how strongly she feels about all of this. I think it's as retired as she's going to get until it's over. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards. to use all of them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys... Um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager, but she got him to design the cards and, uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently, he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, there you go. So, these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy-to-read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them, too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.